In this next video, we'll show you how to check things within the BIOS, that is the basic input-output system of your PC, to check things like your RAM speed, check it's got the correct CPU, check that it's detecting hard drives, etc., etc. So there's a couple of ways to get into the BIOS, uh, depending on the manufacturer of the motherboard. Some will ask you to just hit the delete key to get into BIOS. With other boards, it could be the F2 key. It will all depend on your motherboard. If you're not sure, you can go back into your motherboard box, get the motherboard manual out, and it will tell you in there how to get into the BIOS. Uh, for this particular machine, I know that it's the delete key. So we're going to switch the PC on and just constantly hit the delete key until we get into the BIOS. And here we are. Now, obviously, this is the MSI BIOS. Uh, if yours is a different manufacturer, it may look slightly different. Uh, there will be links to other images of other BIOSes down below in the description. So first thing we're going to be looking at is our clock time. Just to make sure that that's correct for the date and time that you're on. Then we're going to be looking at our CPU speed. Now this is the actual base clock speed of your CPU. It's not any boosts or overclocks, it is the base speed that your CPU operates at. Uh, in this particular instance, it's 2.9 gigahertz. Uh, it is only a Intel i5 10400F. Uh, next thing on this BIOS is our memory speed, uh, 2666 megahertz. Now, with this particular RAM, uh, there is no what's called XMP. Uh, we'll go into that in further detail in another video. We have, we are currently in what's called easy mode of this BIOS. So the first flag gives us our CPU, so it tells us our base clock, the multiplier, how many cores we've got in this particular instance, it's six cores, the voltage, and any other things like hyperthreading. So this says yes, so that means it's six cores, but 12 threads, so effectively 12 CPUs within your PC. Next down is memory. It tells you which slots on your motherboard are populated. In this case, we've got DIMM A2 slot populated, which is the first slot that you would populate on this particular board. Uh, it's telling us the capacity, which in this case is eight gigabytes, and confirming our memory frequency there. If we go down to the next one, we can see fan info. That's telling us that our CPU fan is currently operating around about 970 RPM to keep the CPU nice and cool. Um, if we go further up to the top of the board, the BIOS here, We've got our core temperature of the CPU, which is currently running at 32 degrees C. Then we have our motherboard temperature, which is the same temperature again. Then we've got uh, our core voltage for our CPU and our memory voltage that's being passed from the motherboard into those components. On this side, we have the motherboard model. We have our CPU model. We have our memory size, which as we saw back on here, confirms at eight gigabytes. We then have the BIOS version. Uh, all our PCs have the latest BIOS put on those before they leave the factory. So you can be sure that it's got all the latest updates from, uh, from the motherboard manufacturer and or the CPU manufacturer to make sure that your PC operates as efficiently as it can. And then we have the build date for the particular BIOS that's on the machine. In this case, 9th of September, 2021, was the last time a BIOS was, update was made for this particular board. So you can go into advanced and there are optional settings. We will uh, go into these in either another video or there'll be links to screenshots for settings within the advanced mode of your PC. Okay, and, and that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for the next video and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Thank you.